Hello, welcome to Retro Core, and this is the Hot Wave W10. And man, it sure is hot out today. So yes, here we are outside in the beautiful sunny weather taking a look at the Hot Wave W10. Another heavy duty large battery smartphone. So taking a look at the bottom we've got the USB-C input, on this side we've got the SIM card tray and at the top we've got a headphone port, just what we need. And on the sides we've got the volume rocker and power button. On the back of the device we have a metal surrounding with a glass cover which houses the cameras. The Hotwave W10 comes with Android 12 pre-installed and is IP68 and IP69K certified. It's got a 6.5 HD screen and a 15,000 milliamp battery which lasts a long time, easily get a week out of that. Processor wise, this is kicking a Helio A22 quad core processor. Not too bad. 4GB of RAM, 32GB of ROM, and it's expandable to 512GB by micro SD. On the front of the unit, we have a 5 megapixel camera, and the back, we have a 30 megapixel rear dual camera. Well, let's check out some videos and pictures and see what you think. So, here we are taking a look at a 1080p video. Now, in my personal opinion, I think these 1080p videos, which are running at 30 frames per second, are actually 720p videos upscaled because they do have an awful lot of artifacts on them and jaggies on the corners. 720p videos taken with this device do not have those artifacts or the jaggies. Now, let's take a look at a couple of photographs taken with the camera. Test to see if this thing works in the uh, water, doesn't it? Let's have a look. What's that look like to you guys? <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, that, does that help hook to the waterproof test? <laughs> Let's just give it another try. Here we go. We're in the water now. Oh man. Still work it. So yeah, it looks like we're, uh, we're okay there. The waterproof test seems to be working. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna keep the shower, uh, sorry, I'm gonna keep the camera up this high because we certainly don't want the camera pointing uh, anywhere a bit lower, do we? All right, back to the studio. Now I sure hope nobody has any nightmares tonight after seeing that naked middle-aged man in the shower. Terrible stuff. Anyway, here we are taking a look at the phone and as you can see the screen does look quite small dwarfed by the size of the meter case but actually the screen isn't that small. Take a look at this, this is my regular phone and as you can see this has a really good uh, screen to body ratio but the screen itself is a little bit smaller than this screen, this one is a little bit longer. It's just that the casing on this phone is so big it actually makes the screen look smaller than it really is. 
In fact, talking about how big and chunky this thing is, just look at that. I mean, it is really big and I have to point out to charge it, it needs a specially extended USB-C cable because a standard USB-C cable will not fit in the port. It's too far recessed. That's how thick the protection is on this thing. So yeah, you're certainly going to get uh, quite a few drops out of this before anything bad happens. But you guys aren't interested in that, are you? What you're interested in is seeing some games on this device. So let's do a montage of some cool games in action. So as you can see, this device is fairly decent at playing games. It'll play all the old classics, 8-bit, 16-bit and so on, and even some of the newer stuff, such as Dreamcast, PlayStation, PSP, Nintendo 64, depends on the game, some games work better than others. But you know, those games that don't work too well, better tweakings to the settings, and you should be good to go. Things like, um, I don't know, Sega Saturn, not running too well, and Dolphin, Nintendo 64, Wii stuff, you got no chance. Now because this phone is waterproof, there is a nice little feature on here where you can actually, oops, I just went past it, where you can actually switch on an underwater option. And what that does is it now changes the buttons on the camera to control what would normally be on the screen. Case being when you're underwater, you can't actually use the touch screen because the water interferes with it as you saw with that uh, video of me in the shower earlier. Um, the phone was actually zooming in as the water was hitting the screen and the, the, you know, the screen thought I wanted to zoom in the picture. So yeah, what happens now is when we press these buttons on the side, here you go, you can see that's switching from the front and back camera and that takes the picture. If I hold it down again, it will switch back to the back camera. And pushing down, we'll switch between video and picture. So not bad, nice little feature there and pressing the power button goes back to the reset and now your screen should work as normal so there we have it that is the w10 from hot wave what do i think of it well as a rugged outdoor phone not bad the casing is very nice on it i do like the feel of the outer packaging um it's a nice hard rubberized plastic coating you're not going to be getting uh, caught out by dropping that on the floor. I'm a little bit concerned the way this is glass on the back here. 
um, and it's not really sunken down too much so maybe you need to be a bit careful about that uh, but I do like the way this is metal here and the fingerprint sensor works perfectly flawlessly the plugs that covered up the like the headphone socket here and uh, the USB charging port down there they're great they uh, they really do the job don't let any water in whatsoever and as you can see it's running this uh, 1080p 60 video here pretty decently um, doesn't seem to be stuttering or anything like that um, as a gaming phone yeah maybe not the best option out there but for the price not too bad uh, battery wise 15,000 milliamps it will last you a long time I've had around about five days of normal use out of this I think if you're a little bit more conservative you'll easily get a week out of it no problems whatsoever so yeah I'll put a link in the video description down below if you're interested in this phone if you are check out the link and I'll see you in the next video take it easy oh Who's that handsome chap? Okay, see you guys. Bye.